Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And leading them out in the third year of a young career out of Alabama. Perfect time of the year for them, isn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down. Got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if there's anything special in, in store for him today. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. You talk about this Lions defense. Now, they've been a very good unit against the pass, defending at fifth best in the league. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this crew ever put pressure on the QB, the knees would move into the top five. Nice pickup. Ten yards and a first down on the keeper. And Jones going to keep once more. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. On second down, here's the option. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Now Jones. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Throwing Jones. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Kenneth Murray able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them up field. On that occasion, nothing open at all. That good for 19 at a first down. On the option, here's Spears. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now this defense for the Lions, they were very good last week in the win over New Orleans. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. saying throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 12-yard line. A good pickup there, 26 yards. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Hand off to Spears. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by Devin Lloyd, the linebacker. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And that is caught. Touchdown. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bears will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 7-0. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And Cortland Sutton able to finish things off with the touchdown reception. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. 
He'll be led out by someone who has proved doubters wrong his entire career. MVP runner-up the season ago, Jalen Hurts. And bottom line, when you're the starting QB, what is it? Get the W. Get the W. You got that last one. Right? You got, the, got that done. Wasn't always pretty. There were some great moments. He threw four touchdown passes. You gotta eliminate those mistakes. Gotta take care of that because otherwise that could come back and bite him in another ball game. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Play action. Here's Hurts. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. The Lions at 11-1 now on the year. And they have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. And I think this is where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust. Instead of just talking about winning you know, the very next game, you point out to them, we're on a nice run here. And if we keep doing this, we'll be playing at home in the postseason. And we know that that could ride us all the way to the Super Bowl if we get that done. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up at the 29. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. These two teams, they met at Ford Field earlier this season with the Lions winning that ball game. So they're looking for the series sweep here in Chicago. But first down, Hurts. Letting one go deep for the end zone. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A great play there. Touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Lions are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Fairbair good with the extra point. And we are tied at seventh. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it was Jamison Williams wrapping things up with a touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they had lost two in a row prior to getting the open week last weekend, so potentially a chance for them to get away for a bit, heal up, and come back strong. That's what the hope is anyway, because you're going to find out now with your team, are you still focused on being the best you can be for the rest of the season with the things going the way they have earlier this year? Here's Spears on second down. And they'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Off the bootleg, Jones. This is Akins hauling in the short pass. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough. Spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On the toss, it's Spears. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Back to throw. Jones finding Sutton on the out route who makes the catch. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and two, Jones able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Chicago! Kremlin Sutton with his second touchdown here in this 
first half. And the Bears have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fighting his way through contact. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, and I like how you said that we mentioned it. In fact, I mentioned it, and I upset them a little bit, didn't I? Because they wanted no part of that one, and I was reminded, like a five-year-old, this is the NFL. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. They are guarding against the upset. So first and 10 now from the 30. They go play action with Hertz. For a left side complete. That's Hall. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. And they'll use him out of the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And not much room to operate as they'll get this up only to about the 41. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Hurts sets up to throw it. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that will bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the back open field. Can really generate big plays for an offense. He's got this to Williams complete. Touchdown! Jamison Williams with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And the Bears going to take over now late in this first half. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Jones now throwing to start the drive. They'll set up the screen for Spears. No gain on the screen there in second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. Well, we're in the latter stages of this season. Everybody's getting antsy, so antsy that we're going to skip the halftime and get ready for the third quarter. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. But Jamison Williams out onto the field as his guys take over on offense. He's having a day here in quarter number three. Over 100 yards, couple touchdowns. Every receiver's hope for when they head into that game in the National Football League. And his team is loving what he's giving them. Of course, the yardage is terrific, but I think it's what you mentioned, the two touchdowns. That's the big one because he's paying off his results downfield. And still more time here. Third quarter, we'll see what else he has in store for us. 
Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, with a pin of two on third down, you're a little off balance. Hurt throw going into the hands of Williams. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. They'll get this to Flowers, left side. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. First and ten, it's Hurts. Throw caught by Flowers. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. The defensive coordinators love that. you got a cornerback willing to stick his nose in there, come up on run support, and stop that pop pass dead in its tracks. And, partner, one good thing about trying to defend that play, you should see it coming the whole way. You see the receiver coming in motion in your direction. Nice job eluding the blocker, making the play behind the line of scrimmage, but an even better job studying the play before you have to try and defend it in a game. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing, the route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal now receiver in motion left birds with a little pop pass on the jet sweep and he will score touchdown lions jameson williams a five-yard touchdown and the lions have They go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is. His first miss, no good. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. 
And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kenneth Murray, and he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. Hey, that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders get to add to the lead. And here we get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. And they turn the pick six into a pick eight with that two-point conversion. I love how you upsell. That is outstanding right there. What a big-time play. Big switch in how this game was going, and then they capitalize with a little bit on top. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Jones. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and pick it up by running the action to the right. Jones hit and the ball's out. And this will be a Bears first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The pass there complete to Sutton. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Out of the gun again to Spears. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Only a yard on the game there as time will run out on this third quarter of play. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second down and nine. Looking to throw. Jones. A pass for Sutton is intercepted. Derek Stidley picks it. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, okay, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Jamison Williams and the Lions get set for this next possession. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL, except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I don't know. We'll, we'll throw your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. He's airing it out for Williams. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. The offense on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 11. Throw left side, caught by the quarter. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Hurts. 
Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 right at the 40. He's airing it out for Williams. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Williams, the man in motion left. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it. Here on and he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Bears will get the football back. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Jones on first down. That one's taken in by Spears. Only able to gain a couple there, and that's going to bring up second down. They'll look to throw again. And he completes it to Wilson. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. Again, he'll drop to throw. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Trey McBride from 10 yards out, and the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. This game back with it a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. On the return, Williams. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. A Jamison Williams out onto the field as his guys take over on offense. A chance here on this drive to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark. For Throw him the ball. <laughs> Throw him the ball. Forget, uh, forget analysis, all right? Let's just root a little bit here. Get him the football and get past that 200-yard mark. Well, you want that. You, you seem excited. I know, and it's really weird because normally I want guys to intercept the ball. Right. right? I yeah. want to knock it down. In this case, he's been fun to watch. A former DB. Rooting for the wide receivers. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. On first and 10, it's home. And he's got it down to the 28. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now, they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. 
And this one too low. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting the game. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Throwing his hurts. That is intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick. And the Bears are going to have it here at their own 15. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found the way to give their team a chance. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Now second and four. To throw is Jones. Completes it again to Gage. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here now, third down. Now Jones. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jones. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. A little bit of a backbreaker right there. You're down close. One score game. Trying to push the ball down the field and score. And you throw a pick six. And sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble when you're making your throws. Right? Sometimes you press it a little bit more than maybe you wanted to because you want that score so badly. In this case, it cost them. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. He knocks it through, and it's 35-21. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So now the Bears down by two touchdowns, 70 seconds remaining. The turnover does give them life, but they still need two scores. Jones. Finding Sutton. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here's Jones. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick, and the Lions force the turnover, and they'll take over at the 10. Now it looks like he'll throw here. This pass out wide to Hall. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Here's Hurts to throw. That pass caught. It's Williams. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A big pick up there. And without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. But first down, Hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. 
He's got this to Williams complete. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams, 55 yards. And the Lions add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. A drive there of just four plays. And it was Jamison Williams wrapping things up with a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what. You... Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Lions, the win moves them to 12-1 and now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Chicago, it's another week to forget as they're going to fall to 1-12 and now on the year. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.